uh, decades. Oh, it's an emergency alert on everyone's wow. phone. Flash flood warning. This area oh. till 9.15 a.m. Avoid flood areas. Check local media. Did well, all of our phones just go off? How the fuck are we on? I don't mind that they got that. Mine did not go Isn't off. that insane? But how can it tell us? Do you have, like, the Weather Channel to push notifications? Uh, no, no, I don't believe in push notifications. I have, um, I was having such a, a great conversation with a lovely young lady last night about, oh. cell, about cell phones yeah. and um, th their abilities and what they've done to society and the, the, the sheer amount of knowledge and potential that are in these little fucking things that you carry around with you. And uh, that right there is just another amazing thing. Hey, bop, bop, there's an alert. No matter where the fuck you are, you're getting, like, emergency alerts. It's amazing. Future Jimmy has some thoughts, Future too. Future Jimmy. Ooh, we talked about Google Glass last time on Red Eye. Ooh. And uh, everyone's, oh, I love it now. Everyone's upset about their fucking privacy. Oh, they're, they're gonna, people are going to be filming everything. What about my privacy? Uh -huh. Fuck you. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. Where were, again, where were you when fucking uh, Tiger Woods or any of these guys' right. fucking privacy was being violated? Where were all you fucking cocksucker privacy advocates where Alec Baldwin, his private message to his daughter was being played. You where know were what you? You know what people think? Uh, if you remember in King of Comedy, when Rupert Pupkin goes to uh, Jerry Lewis and he's just like, well, you know, that's your life. You got, I guess you just got to deal with it. Yeah. They look at celebrities yeah. in, in that, well, you gave up your private life to because you got uh, money and you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. famous and stuff. Well, sorry. Mm -hmm. But then you turn that around on them. Oh, hey, hey, whoa. hey, my private What, what do you mean? What about, I, got no, I don't want to be seen by, I don't want to, but what about me? <laughs> Take it, shitheads. <laughs> it's a fucking byproduct of your nosiness and yes. your morbid voyeurism. And, you get which, and I don't mind it because I acknowledge I'm nosy. Yes. I acknowledge it. We all are. You're a busy body. Uh, celebrities one thing in, 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 in public. Like, yeah. I get why Giselle Bundchen is going to have her photo taken at the beach. I, I right. mean, that's something celebrities should shut the fuck up about. But when it comes, but a lot to of those shots are set up. Uh, you oh know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, I, I think she could find a beach where no one's yeah. going to take her picture if she really wanted to. But and, I mean, and I'm sure she does just that. That's why those pictures aren't out there. But that stuff, I mean, like I kind of understand people's fascination with a celebrity in public and right. shit. Or, but when it comes to uh, the privacy of Tiger's text messages and how there was no outcry against the media, there was no outcry for this stuff. So. You know, that's not that's nothing to do with being a celebrity. That's just a guy talking privately with somebody and not nobody fucking tried to say we shouldn't judge. We should everyone gobbled it up, greedy cocks. You oh. gobbled it up. Yes. Oh. Now you get and by the way, Google Glass, keep banning them, stupid bars. Cause it, you know, two years from now it's gonna be Google contact lenses. And you yes. won't even know who has them in. Oh, uh, they're banning the glasses and bars? In a couple of bars, yeah. And, yeah, and, and of course, of the, Vegas, because they want to keep the odds. The Vegas. Bar, a lot of the bars have cameras that you can check out online now. Vegas doesn't allow fucking cameras oh, no, no, in but anything. Now no. they can do it. But when it's contact lenses or when it's, when it's something that goes over regular glasses that you can't tell that becomes... <laughs> Indecipherable or or in in uh, what's the word you can't? Uh, I bet there'll be some type of s scanner Device, you have to look maybe. into yeah, before you're allowed oh, in right, the right. casino sure. or something something like that. Um, scanners, yeah, scanners. I don't know. That Google Glass thing looks pretty silly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you yeah, ask but they're me. Gonna, they're going to figure it out. Oh, they'll figure it out. That's yeah, kind of yeah. cool. Everything we do now. You're not going to be able to hold back that technology, no. obviously. Yeah. And it's all being uploaded and online. I, I said that we're going to. It's all garbage. Who's going to watch half that shit? But it will be. 99.9% a... .9 of that shit no one will ever watch. We're yeah. all going to know every aspect of each other's life. I've told you. The, eventually, we'll start to be judged for private thoughts. Re this is the beginning. Okay. We see each other's everything. But now picture Google Glass a year from now, two years, three years. I, I see everything, Anthony, open top. With all this shit that we're doing in our private lives, walking down the hall. Wow, all of a sudden, 10% of life is uploaded. 10% yeah, yeah, yeah. of life. And then all of a sudden, you fast forward that technology where the fucking everything shrinks and the technology is more affordable. 22% of life is uploaded and online and now recordable. 
Go 30 years from now, 50 years from oh now, 80, 90% of life is uploaded. And now we can move things on a computer screen with our eyes. In the year yeah. 25, 25, <laughs> if is still alive. <laughs> We're obviously moving toward uh, where your whole life will be online. And recording. You'll be long gone, but like, oh, let me check out this, guy, this guy's yeah, yeah. life. Live on. And I, your which, which, which would be interesting to family members when you could, right now, what? We get one lousy, tiny little black and white picture yeah. of our ancestors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually, you'll be able to go. Oh, I want to see what yeah. your life yeah. is about. Imagine fucking you get a um, you get a photo bombing of like Lincoln in the background with his hat, like ah! <laughs> like if they had the, that much. Uh, that, uh, the access to cameras that we do now, because now every every picture used to be precious. Right, you right. take a picture with your fucking Kodak Instamatic, you had you had twenty four pictures yep. on the roll of film. <laughs> you didn't know how it looked, so you weren't just going, you know, I, fucking up everyone's shit. I, I went I went old school for my kid's party. We had a Polaroid. Polaroid. So oh, you nice. take a picture, wow. then you put in a little book, say a little something, something. Nice. But I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like, yeah. It was so. You didn't. I didn't want to push that button. Yeah. Because <laughs> I only had what twenty yeah, per fucking roll we, I, before I, also, I had to reload the camera. I was also talking last night about just meeting people. Now, now the the fucking internet and Facebook and Twitter and everything makes it very easy to be very brave to yeah. meet people because you no longer need that face to face contact. You have so much information on the person before you ever even have to type hey to them <laughs> and, and I, I was almost equating it to years ago if you were to walk into a bar and you wanted to meet a girl and there's a bunch of girls sitting at the bar and all of them have photo albums in front of them and their diary is laid out and their <laughs> political and religious affiliation is up there and what they do for a living and you just browse before you say a word you walk up to them That's oh funny. look at these pictures here's their friends here's a diary oh boy a little bit of baggage there and, but but we never had what we have now as far as meeting people. You needed face-to-face. -face. You had to break <laughs> the ice. You had to fucking, like, come up with something to say that would hold her interest. But in both instances, if you're drunk, you really don't care about what's in the diary. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, she's true. hot. And then what you would do is look through all her pictures on the bar and all the political <laughs> affiliation. Then you would just pull your cock out and show her. <laughs> right. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you just use it for ammunition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you talk to her first. You'd go, hey, how are you? Lol. 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 What? Ruffle. <laughs> Ruffle. All right, here's my cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about... Tom Popper, everyone. Good morning, yes. everybody. What? Imagine if there had been Twitter around during, like, the pre-Civil War. Oh, boy. Would you have ever had Civil War? Like, if people were tweeting, like, yo, I'm on this plantation. This guy is whipping people mad <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there would be a light shine on any evil. Anything. Yes. And, right? Everything gets Which exposed now. But I, I was also thinking that... Um, the availability of information and what's going on with, with uh, causes and, and tragedy. Look, yeah. you look at Syria. Um, there's a lot of people dying over there. People know about it. They're kind of concerned. But I think because there's so many things going on and so many causes, and we're exposed to so much bad behavior on a global level now, that it doesn't affect us like it used to. When right. you look at a cause like no nukes, years ago, you'd get a shitload of people mm. that got together because the next cause wasn't the next day or the next hour. This was your cause for right. a long time. Yeah. You cultivated it. You built relationships with people, and a huge crowd would go to a nuclear power plant or cuff themselves to yeah. a silo, a missile silo. <laughs> now you get involved with a thing. All right, Coney, <laughs> Coney, this guy, we got to find him. The next day, it's like, you, ah, muscular dystrophy. <laughs> I mean, oh, you we got to get rid of this. You got two days. Basically, right, right. So you got you two days get... to, for people to see your video before they move on to the next video. <laughs> yes. You got two days to fucking give money to this organization <laughs> because we're going to move on to the other. There's thing. no more dedication to. How a about cause. the news? There's no passion to to actually dedicate a part of your life to a cause anymore. No, right. our attention span is so like, small. Gone. Yeah, gone. gone. Do you guys remember when we all cared about Boston? What was, what Boston happened? Strong. Remember? What happened? What happened Boston Boston? Strong and all that? <laughs> yes. Oh, they oh. shipped those news crews right to Cleveland, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. It's all about Cleveland now. It's Cleveland Strong now. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland Stronger. Cleveland Strong. But we're getting used to it. You see, don't forget, we're getting used to the information. It's like we didn't have this. Like As time goes on and we get, we become adapted to it and that becomes our lives. It's affecting our we're passion level, though. No, it's affecting our passion level in that we're exposed to too much shit. 
I, I, I think back uh, uh, being a kid and stuff, and you think about seeing a person being killed on film. Oh, you yeah. You didn't. No. You didn't see it. There was no way to see it. Right. You heard this fucking hazy rumor of snuff films and <laughs> right. things. Mm. Now, two clicks, you're watching people die, literally dying. So it does something. It takes away this mystique and, and terror of... Of death and fucking you be, horrible things. You become yeah. a little uh, numb to totally it. Totally desensitized. desensitized. And that goes absolutely. not only with that aspect of it, but everything. <laughs> a cause, relationships, <laughs> fucking one-on-one -on -one conversations aren't important anymore. But look at you. You're right. But look at the way it's... Look what's happening. As a, as a planet, we're becoming, in a really weird way... People say pussification, and in a way, they're right. But we're becoming... We're, we're moving to a gentler way of being as people I don't know. we absolutely are look at the way children are being raised now and the way and, the, and again i hate political correctness and i hate all this hyphenating and fruity stuff <laughs> but look at the way it's it, it's it's uh it's happening all of these things that were considered abusive are no longer tolerated all mm -hmm. of these this language that was considered abusive and no we're, we're going towards this we're seeing everything but we're also softening and i'm not even saying it's necessarily a bad thing as a species, we are fucking becoming more I think and more I think there's less a violent. A phoniness to that, in that in that we're so exposed and open to each other through the internet and 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 every way to transmit information that we try to put up a front now that we're not these bad people and we don't do these bad things. But I think people are just as fucking uncivilized and animalistic. They no. are. But the light does get shined on it. I mean, yeah, even, now it does. Even right. though, like the the. Um, the Arabic Spring, you know, changing these dictators, and it's opened up and made things a mess in their own way. Yeah. But now a light has shined on that. Now, like in Tahrir Square, you have all these rapes happening, and that's not. It used to be nobody knew about this stuff. Right, you it just not, happened. And now the big light has shined on it, and things are. There's you know, there's fewer wars now than ever before. Mm -hmm. There's definitely the problem, though. But to what you're saying is, the the attention span shrinking. You no longer digest stories you don't yeah, take the time yeah. to understand all right what is happening in egypt what you just hear a little blip someone got raped or boop, uh, right, you know, or they're right. cool cool uh protests but you don't sit and digest a story over years i mean these are global yes, events and we treat them years. like sound bites mm. well, you don't need to digest them as, as much only because the information is getting to you so much faster but it used to be you read the paper or newsweek or, or whatever like <laughs> right. what is newsweek saying <laughs> like, what, time, what yeah. happened this week yeah, but they're right. complex they, but it doesn't make the stories any less complex and right, we're right. not we're not really we're not taking our time with it right, when, when right. you just had you know the the five o'clock news it wasn't a fucking the five o'clock local news, the six o'clock national news, and then you'd have newspapers. You couldn't at at nine fifteen a.m. There's no fucking way you knew what was going on in the world. No, you had to wait. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> and, and, and shit was happening. And that's yeah. just like it happens now. That's shit not was good. happening. It's better, obviously. But <laughs> you were more apt to get involved in the story and 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 get more into it and be more informed. Right now, we're very happy with a hundred and forty characters from some fucking guy you don't even know that said, "Hey, did you hear what happened?" Right. And now that's all you know about the story. Some guy used 140 fucking letters well, to tell you a news story, and that's all you... I was telling you this morning that our newspapers have the 911 call from uh, Amanda Barry. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, it's old news already. Or Barry, right? Right. right. Yeah. It's old news, but they have the transcript of the 911 call in today's paper. It's like, who the fuck? Right. Everyone's heard it. Who the fuck hasn't... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah it's it's, that. But to say that, like, but when you look at like the way we are in, in our lifetimes, it went from where if you saw a kid slapped in the face by his parent when we were a kid, right? You it said wouldn't good be parenting. I, I still do, <laughs> but I mean, in our lifetimes, to to prove that it's not yeah. just us covering up. Uh huh. That went from <clears throat> something you didn't even notice to becoming jarring. If you saw a parent, like you know, Tom, mm -hmm. if you saw a parent call off and crack their kid in the face. Even if the kid was shitty or behaving terribly, it was still going, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. and this is only in the existence, this little space of us being from fucking whatever, you know, little kids to you know, our mid-30s that we are. 28. Yeah. <laughs> that that has become a jarring image. So we yeah. are desensitized to the stuff we see on video. 
But I find myself more empathetic to that stuff. Like, I really, I panic more about car accidents now. Or, like, I, I think about being burned. I think of that limo Ooh, and, and that fucking, those people being burned. And I've watched uh, people being burned alive. And it, it's, oh. it's so upsetting to I think about. I care gonna, a lot more than I ever would have. I don't know how good it is to, to watch that but at such a... A level. Probably, maybe it's not good, but the, the limo uh, driver yeah. is an asshole. What happened oh, with yeah. that? Oh, are, yeah. are we going to talk about the limo driver? That he's all over the news, like yeah. he's some kind of like fucking celebrity now, and they're starting to talk to the people that got out of the limo, and and they were begging the yeah. guy to fucking you know stop the car. First, he was something. driving with his car on fire. What the fuck? Fucking the... Joey Chitwood. Why keeps stopping? Stop? Yeah, yeah. He didn't stop because he didn't know. He didn't. He he didn't know what they even wanted. They're banging on the partition. Oh, the, fire, the, fire. the little ones got through the little uh, partition into the front seat. Jeez. Yeah, apparently the doors couldn't open, or the fire was too close to the back doors. In a limo, you don't have doors in the back and the front for the most part. Right. You know, you got the driver's door uh, up there, but then in the back area, you just have the two in the back. That's engulfed in flames. So they had to climb through. As he's and there were like ten people in there. Yeah. It was a flaming limo flying down the highway for a while. Oh my god! Yeah, good lord. But they—it's coming out. They all were begging him to do something, pull over, and he didn't. What? He, I, I, I mean, what, who knows? The stuff that those guys must hear, though. <laughs> you know what <laughs> you, I mean? You don't hear "pull over, the car's on fire." Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, boy. and also there's got to be a feverish pitch to that. It's yeah. not like <laughs> it's, it's, it's a terrible story. Yeah. Well, one, yeah, of the, one of the ladies that made it out alive, it was, there was a heartbreaking interview on CNN. If we could, if we could get it, so it's brutal. Do they know what started the? I'm going to guess gas cans or something in the trunk, but do they know yeah, what it was? My, it's probably uh, an electrical problem. The, the limos have a lot of fucking shit wired in there, and uh, if it's not done properly, yeah, you get shorts. Yeah, you know, they got all those fucking electronic lights and fucking the, right, trying to make video it and audio equipment. You know. Yeah, that's worth losing your life over. So you know, so you could look at the starlit roof of the fucking uh, limo. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> magical. You know, but I mean, how did it become such a fire? So like, yeah, would they have smelled yeah. smoke? Like, it had to be something. It had to be a gas can or something and a spark hitting it, or alcohol. You know, they've got yeah, all that booze, booze back there. there. I think yeah. it's just shit burning. And and the way he was driving as it was on fire. The second you then stop the vehicle, right? It just, right. Oof, just seems like that's crazy. It just seems like he could have done more. I don't know.